Okay, so what you're going to need for this spell, this manifestation ritual, beautiful ritual that you can do. It's so simple, you guys. So simple, but oh, so powerful, I'm telling you. You're going to need a green candle. You can use a green birthday candle, chime candle, tea light candle, jar candle, whatever it is you have. I mean, if you have like a tea light, that's fine. <clears throat> It's whatever you have, right? So what I have here is actually a little chime candle holder just so that everything stays safe because we're going to be burning this on top of our cash. So next, next thing that you're going to need is your cash. So I have several here, denominators of 20, 100, 5, whatever you have, whatever you have, okay? I have this bowl right here. I love this bowl so much. I got it at the thrift store. Of course, I came, cleansed it, saged it, and all that stuff. But it's um, it's an image of the Taj Mahal from India in this bowl. And you guys see, I've used I've used it so much because that's such a luxurious energy, and also it's it's kind of somewhat psychotic energy too. Because if you know the story, but also such a beautiful love story, like. I just, I love the Taj Mahal. It's on my bucket list. I would love to go there and see it and visit it and feel the energy like, oh, manifest, manifest it, right? Uh, you're going to need <laughs> something to carve your candle with. So I have this little needle right here that I'm going to do that. You need a lighter and you're going to need two herbs. One is cinnamon. One is nutmeg. You can use them powdered. You can grind them yourself. You can use them crushed. Um, however you want to get creative with it, right? But these are the herbs. These are the two main simple herbs that you need. Cinnamon and nutmeg. And then um, if you have an oil, which you're going to need an oil for the herbs to stick. If you don't have an oil, you can use coconut oil, almond oil, or grapeseed oil. Those are three oils you can use. Um, or you can uh, purchase the money oil from my shop. And this is my money oil. It's been charging for years. And you actually get from my own batch. Okay. So let's get into the tutorial. You're going to take your candle. You're going to cleanse it and sage it, which I've already done. Like You can cleanse it by just running it through um, water let it dry or you can sage it you know but what you're gonna do is you're going to from down to up okay you're gonna write your name now i like to sign it signing your name kind of seals the deal okay you're also gonna write your birth date And then you can write abundance. You can write four money signs. I always like to, like to write four money signs because I'm attracting money from all different directions, all four corners, north, east, south, west. I'm attracting money in healing all of my elements within myself that I need to heal or strengthen even, um, which means fire, earth, air, and water. So I write four all the time. And then, you know, like money, the word money, uh, the word wealthy, prosperity. If you can, do you guys hear that ambulance? It is so loud. I have my window open because it's hot. <laughs> but you can hear everything outside. I hope you guys don't mind. Okay. After that is done, you're going to take your oil. So I'm going to go ahead and shake up my oil. You guys hear that? Oh, I love that sound. It's like that suction sound that is sealing all my energy in there. And when I'm ready to use it and conjure, then it pops open. I love it. <laughs> You're going to go ahead and wipe your candle with the oil. Remember, you don't need my oil, but if you do want my oil, you can get on my shop, my Etsy shop. We have sales like every Friday. Head over, enjoy yourself, browse around. And then what you're going to do is mix these herbs right here. You're going to mix them. And you're going to go ahead and just, you can roll it in there or however you want to do it. 
but you're going to cover your candle in both of these herbs. And this is, listen, this is very, very simple, but it's very, very powerful. These two herbs combined together is like just luck, fast luck. And we're using green candle and we're going to be using the cash. So we're telling the universe and the spirits that we want fast cash, but we want it in a good positive way. And there you go. Beautiful, very, very pretty. Love that. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cash, okay? And you're gonna fan your cash out. Now you can fan it out in like a circle, like you can like actually fan it out and make it into a circle, right? Whatever de denominators you have, you can even make this with all $1 bills. You can make it with all $5 bills or whatever your currency is, whatever you have, that's all, okay? It doesn't have to be big denominators. What we're using is the energy of the cash itself, okay? You're going to put your candle holder on top of it if you need one or if your candle is in a tea light. You might also like want to put it in something or if you have whatever candle you're using if it already comes in a jar you don't need to do that or you could put it in a nice safe dish but you don't want to leave this unattended because I mean you're working with paper money is just paper after all we're just conjuring up this energy into our life okay what you're going to do is take your candle you're going to burn the bottom I mean if you need to like if you're using a birthday candle or ch chime candle um, you want to burn the bottom so that you can stick it into your little candle holder. And then you light it. And that's it. Now, you're going to let this burn all the way down. You can keep this on your altar. You can keep it in your bedroom. You can keep it however, wherever you want to. A kitchen is a really nice place to put it too. But make sure you don't leave it unattended until the whole thing burns down to the bottom. Any remains that is there, you could just throw it away or you could bury it in your yard, whatever, however you feel your intuition. If you want to keep the remains, if you, um, or if you want to throw it away, it's okay. Um, but the cash, the cash you're going to put into your wallet or keep it on your altar. Okay. Um, and that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a quick really really easy way to manifest money and you'll see in a few days uh, changes and differences I mean you have to you are literally bringing this energy into your life with cinnamon and nutmeg cinnamon is fast attraction nutmeg is a gambler's herb <laughs> nutmeg is something that is very fast attraction as well very powerful in certain cultures giving like the whole nutmeg is equivalent to sacrificing a life um you know so do your research and things like that on nutmeg it's very very powerful and i do know that it is expensive but if you can get your hands on it use it nutmeg and cinnamon cash green candle that's all you need and let's see how you manifest money and let's look at how quick and how fast you do it i'll talk to you guys very very soon bye